Well met, my dears. Well met indeed. What brings you here? Your counsel I need. Yaga the Bony, Yaga the Great. You want to manipulate the Tsar's fate. Upon his throne, I will bestow a fate of sorrow, bad luck, and woe. The rightful Tsar had failed my test. He was unkind, just like the rest. He said to me, leave, ugly hag, when all I did was ask for bread. And as his guards drove me away, I laid my curse. And he heard me say, oh, I shall leave, but hear this from me. How you'll treat others, treated you'll be. The one who is cursed with dreadful luck will be around when your throne turns to muck. But if you kill him by your own command, all of your tsardom will turn into sand. <laughs> so ever since then, he searched every day to find the unlucky one and send him away. And now, he's found him. A man with no charm. Ivan, the blacksmith, who's missing an arm. Yaga, our friend. We lend you our skill. Ivan, we shall use to fulfill your will. Blacksmith? You work in the village, and people say you are followed by bad luck. Broken swords, bent nails, splintered helmets, crumbled wheels. Everything you create shatters to dust, and you bring misfortune upon us all. One day, I was at home with my Baba, and she said to me, Oh, Ivan, my needles broke again. Would you make your poor old grandma some new ones? Sure, Baba. I'll make you a couple so strong you'll be able to weave chains with them. I just need to find some enchanted iron. Be careful, Ivan. Do not worry. If there's misfortune in the world, I haven't met it yet. Oh, and if you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Later that day, I was going through a beautiful forest. Little did I know what would follow. My way was blocked. I had to smash through using my hammer. I had to go through some thorny spikes. I quickly rolled through them to avoid hurting myself. Wild animals were upon me. I got ready for the fight.
Tired from the fight, I approached a clearing. Bad fate was waiting for me there. Dear traveler, with that sweet face, <laughs> what brings you here to Nico's place? I left my grandma at the door to go and find some magic ore. You seek magic? Are you stuck? How do you feel about your love? Bad luck. I think that's just entails. Hard work and patience never fails. Uh, a non-believer, then. I see. Looks like the fate is kind with me. Come now with me before you're thinner. You're just in time to be my dinner. <laughs> I have to eat now, it is late, and I will have you on my plate. Now you know, bad luck is real. It is my name, <laughs> and you're my meal. I had grown tired from the fight. I swung my hammer with my might. And when I nearly hit her head, she laughed at me and it broke instead. So I just ran. I ran away. I had no time to stop and pray. And in my path fixed in a tree, a golden axe was there for me. But as I grabbed and said, what luck, I realized my hand was stuck. And then she raised her deadly knife and tried to rob me of my life. But as she swung with evil charm, I moved aside and she chopped my arm. She grabbed it and she said, how sweet. And so I got up on my feet. I started running, dripping blood. Well, not a drip, it was a flood. But right behind I heard a crash and then I fell down with a splash. As I blacked out, I heard a shout. This one is mine now, you get out. Next thing I know, I was awake, back in the village with great ache. That is a sad tale indeed, but it just proves you have bad luck. For this, I should banish you, send you away, and forbid you to return. But I am not unkind. Instead, I will give you a chance to bring me something precious and clear your name. Go far away, wherever you may, and bring me back strength beyond measure. But return without it, and my guards will just drive you away. Yes, my Tsar. Your commands must be followed. I am on my way. Go now. Return only when you can give me strength beyond measure.
My dear boy, I heard what happened. That wretched sir sending my boy away instead of finding a wife. What will you do, Ivan? Though it seems impossible, I must do what must be done. Listen, my dear boy. I know of a tale, a story long lost. An apple that makes you strong as an ox. I think you could take that fruit to the Tsar. Yaga knows about it and she's never far. How can an apple give strength? Yes, Ivan. A golden apple, picked when it is ripe, straight from the branch. Only one apple ripens every seven years. Maybe it is time now. Baba Yaga will know. Find her and she will tell you. The powerful witch, deep in the forest. Her house sits on a chicken leg. I'll tell you an old poem about her. At night in the forest, you should be afraid. Yaga is there, caressing her braid. In front of her house, there's a skull on a spike. No stories about her are ever alike. Sometimes she gives you advice and some magic. Sometimes you're pushed in the oven. How tragic. She will give you good advice if you find her. I will go to Baba Yaga. Wish me well. I am glad you are listening, but I hope you do not want to go empty-handed. She will need a gift when you need her. It is said the best gift for her is a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat. The sweat of a poor man? Yes, that one is easy. Talk to the hay farmer behind the church. He's the poorest peasant in the village, him and his brother. Ooh, where could I find a wormy bone? The graveyard, of course. But don't go digging there yourself. Talk to the undertaker. He must have some bones from old graves he cleaned up. I will go to them, Baba, and ask for their help. Take some Kopecks with you. It's not much, but it's what I can give. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Before you leave, you should go to your anvil and make some weapons. You'll need them in your journey. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. <laughs> 